Welcome back everybody, Alex Louis here in your video on logical or. Last time we were here we went over logical and this video I'm gonna go over logical or so let's get let's get to it. So logical or is a logical operator that returns only one of two values. It could either give you a true or it could give you a false. And the way that the logic is and the way the logic works is it's only going to return false when both operands are false. It's only going to return false when both operands are false. Let's take a look at an example. If I declare the following, I'm going to declare two operands. What I'm doing here is I'm going to set my expression. This is my logical expression here. This logical expression is going to give me a true or false value, which is going to be stored in result, depending on what the left and right operand are. If Boolean op1 and Boolean op2 are false, then my result's going to be false. Otherwise, if they are if they are not, one is true and the other one's false and vice versa, then I'm always going to get a true. So for example, if I take a look and say true is equal to true. So we've set the value of boolean op1 to true, boolean op2 to true. When we run the expression, that's true or true, that's going to give you true. So if we run this, this result is true. If I do a true or false, then that oh, that's also going to be true. Where it's different with the logical and, the logical and will actually give you a false. So then that, that's that's a big difference right there. It's a big difference. And what I said about the OR was the only time that it's going to be false is if both operands are false. Let's take a look. If I set that to false, that to false, let me just clear this. And, that, and then that's false. Keep in mind that the operand here could be as an, another expression as well. And the operand here could be an expression also. Which means that I could have expressions within expressions within expressions separated by an or or multiple or. So I can also have the following. If I have one less than three and three is equal to two. what we would do is we would we would take this and treat that as an operand and this would be a, just a sub sole, sole operand and if we treat this as an operand then we have to evaluate what's inside so remember if you haven't already please go to my video on relational operators to find out how these behave this particular expression, one less than three, will give you a true. And this will give you a false. True and false will give you wrong. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know what you said. Obviously, it's a pre recorded video, but it's going to be a false. A false or false, because Boolean up to is false, will give you false. So if I run this, that's the result is false. Now how can I make this expression give me a true? 
how can I make this expression give me a true? Why don't you take 10 seconds to think about that while I pause the video. Let me pause the video. The magic of pausing videos and coming back. What did I do? What do you notice different from this particular expression? That's right. I changed the 2 to a 3. Because now what this is going to do is it's going to give me a true and a true would give me a true. True or false would give me a true. Let's try that. We run this. And that's going to give me a true. Okay. So, a couple of summary points. Very simple with the logical or. The only time the expression when using a logical or will be false is when both operands are false. Otherwise, it's always going to give you true as long as the left and right operand are Boolean. They're always going to give you a Boolean result. As long as it gives you a Boolean. Now, what I mean, Boolean result will be a true or a false, obviously. If you try and, and put in a, an arithmetic operation here, it's not, it's not going to work. It doesn't make sense. Don't want to do that. All right. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at parttimeadjunct at gmail.com. Check out my website. Check out my Udemy course. I do have a Udemy course on technical interviews. Check that out. Pretty cheap. If, uh, if you need a, a code for a discount, let me know. Drop me a line at parttimeadjunct at gmail.com. Thanks.